team rider for Singapore, second rider for Singapore in team of three. And this is Gemma Rose Jin Fu riding Avalon. And they have the friendly horse, the companion horse, will be on the field of play. Gemma Rose Jin just 16 and part of the Singapore team, which is the first from an Asian country to send a para question team to the Paralympic Games. She trains with Volker Jubel, German coach, made her international debut last year and uh, has uh, cerebral palsy. Eighth in the team test here on Friday. So the second of the Singapore team riders to go. Gemma Rose Jen Fu with Avalon.
They ride their other half 20 metre circle for a 6.3, 64.889, their in running total at the moment, as Gemma Rose Joan Fu rides her free walk. Just if you weren't listening earlier, I'll rattle through these uh, sort of English language equivalents of the marks once again. The marks are out of 10, and 10 is not perfect, it's excellent. And our judges, the 10s are there, ready to go. They'll happily press the 10 button if the mark is, if the movement is deserving of it. Nine, very good. Eight, good. Seven, fairly good. Six, satisfactory. Five, sufficient. Four, insufficient. There again, that hold at 4.7, somewhere between insufficient and just barely sufficient. Three, fairly bad, two bad, one, very bad. Medium walk, 6.8 coming up on the screen there. We're just waiting for the uh, half 10 meter circle mark and then the halt mark for Gemma Rose, Jen Fu and Avalon for Singapore. Half 10 meter circle, 6.7. Gemma Rose, Jen Fu scored 68.588. Here in the team test day, just meeting up with a handler at A. It's 5.7 for the halt and salute. And with off her, the pace she set for herself the other day, it is 64. I'm going to say 0.69, 64.69, that they take forward to the collective mark judging. The judges consider the activity submission. Singapore. Second of the three riders for the uh, Singapore team, the bronze medalist from the Beijing Games, still to come in this.